Crackberry.com. What's up, guys? This is James from Crackberry.com, and today I'm taking you through the latest BBM update. This update just came through the pipe, and it's got some really good features. You'll see what's new is infrastructure features to reduce spam invites, updated icons for BBM voice and video calling, improved quick reply notifications and support for Android N. So thankful for that. Performance improvements, bug reports, and introduced a Me and Discover screen to the main navigation menu. As well, there's combined BBM groups and group management features in the chat screen. All chat conversations are now in one single place. So let's just jump right in. Again, you can go grab this update for yourself, but this is what it's going to look like on the front end. So if you take a look here, a lot of the changes are going to be found right there at the top. You'll see an all in group category option. This is really nice. All your chats and group conversations are all now local in one place. And again, right there in the BBM chat section. If you slide on over, you'll see your contacts are here in a list view. You see little sub menus with group amounts. This is the center feed section, which is pretty good to see. Really liking all of that. What's nice here is you do have the option to add in a status or a picture and put that right into the feeds. As well in the discover section, you'll see games, channels, subscription stickers, and more with top picks. In different regions such as South Africa, Indonesia, and India, there's even more content packed in here. So I expect North America and other regions will start getting more in this Discover tab throughout 2017. Probably one of my favorite new areas of BBM is going to be this Me tab. This Me tab brings a lot of great additives to the profiling experience here on BBM. You'll see my channels are added in here, the ability to create a channel, and as well, all the settings are now hidden under this me category. Instead of having to slide over from the right-hand side to access settings, you now simply have it all right here. Really, really nice streamlined way and place for all of this information. Under the name section here, you'll see the ability to update your status, send an invite, feel free to send me a BBM invite here, and as well, update any information relative to your account profile here. You got the barcode, avatar, all that good stuff. Overall, really, really nice update. I have been using BBM on Android N, and there was a big issue with the quick replies and such. Um, basically, when you would do a quick reply, it would actually launch the BBM app instead of kind of having that seamless flow of connectivity and communication. With this update, that is now solved. So if you're using an Android N device in BBM, you're going to have a great experience. And we're seeing that Android N 7.1 is going to be available on the Key 1. So it seems like they're really prepping BBM for that device as well. Let me know what you thought about this BBM update. Have you received it on your device, and are you liking some of the new features that it brings? This is James. We'll catch you in the next one.